there everybody, welcome back to The Trike Show. I'm Harold and I'll be answering your questions. This week we have something we've been cooking up for a long time and it's something lots of people have been asking for. We're really excited to show it to you today, so let's get on with the questions. Hey Kirsten, oh, yeah. you have some time to answer a couple questions? Yeah, of course, awesome. no problem. Let's get right into it. Right. Nam on YouTube wants to know, do you need any extra parts to put fat tires on the Villager since the V3 is so similar to it? The Catrag Villager frame is used to build the UT Custom Fat Cat D3. Instead of our standard extension plates used to mount a 26 inch wheel on a Villager, we have V3 specific extensions, which are a bit longer and thicker. The V3 extensions will cost you about $200. Besides the V3 extensions, you'll need a set of fat wheels. Of course, the front wheels will need to use Catrag or Revolution hubs. And the main caveat is that you'll need to go from derailleur gearing in the rear to an internally geared hub, such as the Alpine Enviolo or our favorite, the Roloff. That's really good to know. I'm glad we have options to help people take their regular trikes into a fat tire trike. Orin B on YouTube asks, will an electric trike climb a very steep hill for 100 yards and do a round trip of six miles? Absolutely. And this is one of the main reasons we recommend using a mid-drive motor instead of a rear hub motor. Since you can use the gearing of the trike in combination with the motor, like a car shifting its transmission, you can even get going on a hill from a stop. If you have a lot of hill climbing, the 750 watt and 1000 watt motor would be your best bet as a bigger motor can handle heavier loads longer for those steep inclines. Both motors have an average range of 30 to 40 miles on one battery, so you should be totally fine on those rides. Awesome. That's good to know those ranges. I have a lot of blasting that all the time. Jim Neal asks on YouTube, do you guys still carry the ice trike? And if so, what kind of accessories do you carry? Um, we carry the full line of ice trikes and all the ice accessories. You can find all the models that we have on our website. You can also see the variety of accessories we have on there as well. That's right, and our website is utahtrikes.com. Well, Kirsten, thank you so much for answering my questions. I really appreciate it. Now let's go on to the showroom and answer more of your questions. Welcome to the showroom. Jay Zerka on YouTube has the question, what trike slash quad has the highest clearance. How high is it? Any model with the 26 by 4 inch wheels will have the highest clearance, such as the V3, a pet crawler, and the Azip Firefly X. One of the main advantages that a quad has is its ability to straddle objects. On a quad, the lowest ground clearance will be determined by the type of gearing, as derailers will usually hand lower than tensioner of a geared hub. For most though, it won't matter too much, as the lowest points are positioned to move up with the wheels as it climbs over obstacles. The older writer on YouTube says, here's a question. Is there any chance you can convince my wife into letting me get an Expedition cat track? Well, I could certainly try. Do you experience back pain? Is staying balanced on a regular bike difficult? Do you wish for a way to enjoy the outdoors with your loved ones? Well, do I have the trike for you? Hi folks, I'm Harold with Utah Trikes, and I'm not talking one, I'm not talking two, I'm talking about three wheels of road hugging, laid back riding, man powered machine. This ain't your granny's trike. Introducing the Cat Trike Expedition. Unlike a normal bike where you have to struggle to even mount the damn thing and don't even get me started on the circus sack you have to maintain to stay balanced, the Expedition is easy to mount, easy to maintain, and most importantly, fun to ride. And for an even easier mounting experience, you can throw on some of our easy entry aids, which provides sturdy grips to make getting in and out of the seat a breeze. The Catrag Expedition comes stock with 30 speed gearing, a 26 inch rear wheel, and a comfortable recumbent seat, which all comes together to make a trike that's perfect for on the road travel. If that doesn't sound like the perfect ride to you, then you must be crazy. You can get all that trike and more for the price of $2,750 plus shipping. 
Utah Trikes isn't just the biggest trike dealer in Utah, we are the biggest in America. We have sold thousands of trikes around the world and we are dedicated to delivering the best and most comfortable trikes so you can get out there and start riding. If you or a loved one are in need of a change of pace and an opportunity to get back out with the family again, give us a call at 801-804-5810. Act now and we'll include a Catrike safety flag, a left side mirror and mirror mount with your purchase. Order now before it's too late. All joking aside, Utah Trikes has a mission to help people want you to be able to ride something that's comfortable and accessible. It doesn't matter if you're injured, no longer able to ride a bike, or if you're just looking for something that's easier to exercise with. There are models for you. If you feel like your loved ones or if you fall underneath those lines, please give us a call. Hey Chandler. Hey Harold. How's it going, man? Good. You have some time to answer a couple questions? Yeah, for sure. Awesome, let's get right into it. Dottie Durden on YouTube asks, where and how do you replace a bent Presto valve? It depends if you have a Schwalbe Presto tube with a replaceable valve core. You can remove the valve core by unscrewing it without removing the tube or tire from your wheel. If your tube does not have a removable core, though the best thing to do with a bent Presto valve is to get a new tube. Tubes are affordable enough, so it wouldn't be fun to repair the valve for it to fail while on a ride. We have options on our website for replacement tubes if desired. Yeah, it's definitely a lot less annoying to just replace the whole tube other than just get a new tube. Ernst Scholas on YouTube says, how do I switch from kilometers to miles on the motor display? You can change the default in the settings on the console. Each motor has a slightly different way of doing it, but it's always an easy to find option in the settings. This will also be covered more in depth in the previously mentioned motor video. But here's a quick rundown on how to do it on our most popular Bafang motors. First, power on the console by holding the power button. Once the console's on, double click the menu button, one, two, and then from here you can scroll using the plus and minus button. To change it to Imperial, we're gonna click the menu button once to select, and then you hit the scroll down or up and change it to Imperial. Um, and then that'll change it from kilometers to miles per hour. And then you can scroll back down to the exit, click the menu button, or you can double click the menu again. Awesome. Jim Jr. 44 from YouTube is curious. Why would you not put a triple chain ring on the Fat Cat V3? You can install a triple chainring on the V3, but because the trike requires an internally geared rear hub in the back, there's not a rear derailleur that will take up the slack of the chain for the triple crank. The roll-off chain tensioner is the one that will allow just enough chain for the triple provided the chain length is set very precisely. Of course, if you have the roll-off, you really don't need a triple on the front. That's true, you have plenty of gear range just for the roll-off. Well, Chandler, thank you so much for answering my questions, Al. See you around, man. Have a good one. See ya. Now let's take a break from the questions for a minute and move on over to Jared, where we're gonna go talk about one of our new exciting custom builds. Hey Jared, can I take a look at that conversion? Oh sure, yeah, Harold. This is a Sun Seeker Easy Classic side-by-side, -side, the latest addition to our lineup of trikes. It is a kit that converts two Easy Classic recumbent bikes into an affordable social tandem quad. Both bikes come with Sunseeker standard 21 speed gearing that are separate from one another to allow you to pedal on your own comfort and your own pace. For comfort, both come with a Sunseeker gel mesh seat and adjustable backrest, allowing for even more comfortable ride. The Easy Classic bike shares most of its design with an Easy Tri Classic Delta trike, a tried and true design that is simple, reliable, and very adjustable. The kit itself comes with four braces that connect two bicycle frames together for maximum rigidity. It also comes with a storage rack that can hold up to 50 pounds. It fits between the two seats and the set of Acuma arms with a tie rod to connect the steering of both bikes to allow a proper Acuma compensation meant for a quad. Wow, there is definitely no shortage of the storage space on this build either. The customer opted for recumbent baskets on each bike and with the addition of the large storage rack measuring at 31 by 22 inches, you'd be able to fit a lot of gear or for me places for a cup snack. They also decided to upgrade to Tannis airless tires for both 20-inch rear wheel and 16-inch front wheel. To 
to ensure that they can keep riding without any hiccups on their journey. These airless tires are made of microcell polymer foam material that even through a puncture will not go flat like a normal tire. Having no air means you cannot lose air while out on a ride. It can cost a little bit more than a regular tire, but it's definitely worth the upgrade when you no longer have to stop and replace a flat tire. For more safety and rideability, the customer opted for front and rear lights as well as bottle cages and power grip pedals with straps. On the road, this easy classic side-by-side -side is a blast to ride with company. And with cheaper price tag, it is a much more affordable option to get you out on the road and with your favorite rider of choice. That sounds super fun. How does it ride? The ride's super smooth, Harold. Well, awesome, that's great to hear. And for anyone that's interested, you can take a look at that on our website in the link below. The price for that starts at 3,995. Thank you so much for your time, Jared, and hope you have a good rest of your day. You too, Harold. Hey, JD. Hey, Harold. Do you have some time to answer a couple quad questions today? Absolutely. Awesome, let's get right into it. Social killer on Instagram. How heavy is the Nauta wheelchair? I live on one floor with no elevator. You need to know if it's practical for me. Okay. The Nauta wheelchair weighs in at 125 pounds without additional modifications. Carrying it up a flight of stairs might prove to be a bit difficult. You may want to talk to your management and see if there is a ground level alternative for storage. Good to know, that's some great advice. The Fiscus on YouTube asks, I live in a ground floor apartment. I want to get a Revolution E-Quad RS through the front door. What are the footprint dimensions? Okay. Well, the standard Revolution E-Quad has a length of 85 inches, a width of 32 inches, and a height of 40 inches. On an average size door, it can usually just barely squeeze through. Good to know. Chrissy8675309 on Instagram asked, do you think you might offer different types of seats for the Nauta wheelchair eventually? That's a great question. We do offer different seat options for the Nauta wheelchair. A Revolution E-Quad has a recumbent seat that can be put on the Nauta wheelchair if requested. The mounting interface on the frame allows for different seats and brackets to be mounted. Here's a picture of a pair of E-Quads sent to us by Sue and Howie Goss, recently showing the bucket seats that they mounted themselves. That's super cool. Deb DK on Instagram says, how does the Nauta wheelchair do on the sand at a beach, for example? Hmm. Well, the Nauta wheelchair can perform well at the beach or on sand. Just make sure to run your tires at a lower tire pressure and you should be fine. If you will primarily be running on the sand, you may want to wait a bit for our upcoming four-wheel drive version. Very interesting. Very cool stuff we have cooking up here at Utah Trakes. Well, thank you so much for your time, JD. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Yeah, no problem. All right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in on this episode of The Trike Show. We really appreciate all the engagement you've had with our last couple videos. Keep that going. We'll want to see your comments. We want to answer your questions. And remember to take a look in the top right corner to get a link to our weekly merch drops. And remember to tune in on the next episode of The Trike Show. We have something really cool cooking up for you. As always, relax, spin fast, and ride trikes. Have a good one, everybody. Hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Offer different types of seats for the knock eventually. Great question. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> right. Certainly try. <laughs> With all kinds of modifications. It's crazy how many modifications! <laughs> Holy crap, you guys. <laughs> Hello everybody. Davey. Back to the track <laughs> Hello everybody. Welcome to the showroom. Found an Instagram. That's it. That's so funny. Let's go down and show my answer some more. <laughs> or on sand. Just make sure to run your tires at a lower tire pressure 
and you should be fine if you